Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about an amazing iOS 13 feature which I think is really useful and really cool that Apple has added but I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Maybe this is the most underrated feature of iOS 13. So what I'm talking about here is the ability to open run shortcuts using assistive touch. So you can see right here on the assistive touch on the menu right here, I can open any of my favorite apps from here. So I wanna open the calculator. I can do that from the assistive touch menu and I can do that from anywhere on my device, even from the lock screen. If I go to the lock screen, I can use the assistive touch menu and open five of my favorite apps directly from there. So basically on assistive touch in iOS 13, you have the ability to add the shortcuts there as buttons. So once you go to the assistive touch menu, you will have here, of course, five buttons. You will have the home here, which is a sixth, and you can add any of your shortcuts and you can run them directly from here. So you wanna open an app, you can do that from the assistive touch menu. Now, the only thing that I don't like is that it asks you if you wanna run it. If this would be automatic, it will be really nice as well. So hopefully that will be fixed in the future and we will have the ability to remove that step. So this is really, really cool not to enable it, you go to settings, you go to accessibility, go to touch, and you go to assistive touch, of course, and enable it right here. Then you go to customize top level menu, and here just tap on one of the buttons and you scroll down and you will have your Siri shortcuts right here. And you can go ahead and add any one of them to the assistive touch menu. Now, sometimes when you go right here, you won't see the shortcuts. If you don't see them here, just go back once, come back here and you should be able to see them once you go to add one of them. Sometimes it doesn't show because of course it's beta and it still has bugs. Also, if any of them don't work, just enable, disable and enable assistive touch from here. And just like that, you're within an app. So here from the settings, for example, I can go ahead and open the calculator app as easy as that. So I don't need to go to the home screen or go anywhere to the app switcher or anywhere, just run the shortcut directly from there, from the assistive touch menu. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is the new feature with assistive touch on iOS 13, which I believe is the most underrated feature of iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.